So I'm really glad to welcome you back here in Chicago, Mikey. When you start your next chapter of your career for FIRE, uh, how did it feel to finally be back in your hometown? I'm excited. It's been a long time since I lived in Chicago. Um, I don't think I've been here since I was 15 or 16, so it's going to be nice to uh, come back and be around people that I know in a place that I'm comfortable, so I'm excited. How, uh, how different was the transition from playing in MLS to going overseas and playing in Norway? It was uh, it was actually a big change. I think the uh, the level is pretty similar overall. Um, in the MLS, you get a few big names on every team that raises the uh, the level a little bit that you don't get over there. The designated players add a little something to the MLS. Um, but in general, I thought the game was a little bit more tactical in Norway, and I thought that the players in the MLS are a little bit more athletic, and the game is faster in the MLS than in Norway. What do you hope to bring to the fire this upcoming season? Um, well, hopefully I can bring some wins. Um, they had a, they had a lot of ties last year. Um, they have a lot of new players this year, so including myself. Um, they've signed a lot of guys from the Chicago area. I think most of us uh, want to bring a winning attitude. Um, you know, set the tone that way and do a good job every day in training and in games and uh, being really hungry to get results and win this year. What is uh what is some good advice for young players trying to make it to the professional league you'd you'd, uh, you'd give to them? I would say play as much as you can. If you look at a lot of the guys that came from the soccer's, um, if you ask Dave Richardson or Batata, they would all say these these guys, including myself, they spent a lot of time training and coming to different trainings with teams that they weren't on and just finding any way to play. And I think that's uh that's what kind of separated the guys who ended up making it and not making it. What do your uh, off-season usually consist of? I usually take about two weeks off. Um, I may work out in those two weeks just for fun. I don't know, go for a run, lift, play basketball. And then after that, I uh, since I've been a professional, I've spent every off-season here in Chicago at, uh, at Soccer City playing in the afternoons. And uh, it's something that I have a lot of fun doing and also prepares you well for the season. What was your greatest achievement or favorite memory as a soccer player? That's, I think it was the first time I went to Dallas Cup. I, uh, it was unexpected, and I, uh, I went with a team that was a year older than me, so I hadn't been playing with them, and Dave just uh, told me, hey, come to some practices. I went to some practices, and I'll always remember because he made this list that's a Dallas Cup final selection, and I actually took that piece of paper and framed it on my wall. Um, I don't have it anymore. Maybe it's actually, I probably do. It's probably in my memory box in a storage container because my parents moved out of that house. We don't have as much space anymore, but yeah, I remember framing that. It was called Dallas Cup final selection. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That should uh, that's wrap it up for today, though. Thank you for your time, Mike, and uh, best of luck this season. Great. Thank you.